After Hertz workers abandon their location, customers show up and take whatever rental cars they want. <laughs> Dozens of customers, including the mayor of Denver, were left clueless after showing up to a deserted Hertz in New York. What company, aside from Stellantis, gets more negative press? Hertz? Hertz or Stellantis, folks? Who gets more negative press? This story is asinine, Dad. There were there were workers in Syracuse, New York, abandoned their posts and customers just took whatever rental cars they wanted. Can you believe that? Without any like signed rental car agreements? CBS News reports that over 20 travelers who arrived at the Hertz in Syracuse this summer were met with a surreal scene when they walked in. The building was totally empty because apparently every single worker had walked out. One of those customers was Mike Johnston, the mayor of Denver, Colorado. Johnston was in New York for a summer program. His son was attending, quote, we showed up and the rental car company was closed, he told CBS. So rather than wait for someone or uh, wait or look for someone, Johnston and other companies, customers, excuse me, took matters into their own hands. Get out of here, advertisement. We don't, okay, All right, get out of here. So Johnston and many others, uh, Hertz customers who had reservations just found Hertz cars with keys in them and drove away. So we took one we thought was for us, said Johnston, who said he later found out the car he took was not the correct one and exchanged it. For a different one. Can you believe this? <laughs> well, you know, that 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 is that is one way to yeah. run a rental car agency and keep your employee cost down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Think of it. There's no hourly wage, there's no, no benefits. Okay, you're just hoping that your customers show back up with those cars when they say it's time to show back up. Um, <sighs> wow, wow. I, I I can tell you, in all my years of working for dealerships and being in business, and things, I have never seen a situation where, like, I don't know, everybody just walks the hell out and yeah. customers walk in. It's <laughs> That's... Uh, that's pretty remarkable. I thought you'd get a kick out of that. We've got from Matthew. Thank you, Matthew. Hurts yeah. so good. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. Maybe we should run that company. For the first time ever, Car Edge Concierge Car Buying Service is $100 off. You have until December 2nd to take advantage of this great opportunity at CarEdge.com slash concierge. All right. We're just going to pull it up on the screen, and then I'm going to leave the screen. And we're going to see what happens. What happens? You didn't see this, Dad? Jaguar rebranded. Oh. Oh. You yeah. didn't, wait, did you not see this? No, I haven't seen it. <gasps> Jaguar did a rebrand, Dad. Oh, my goodness. I just assumed you saw it. You did not see this. Okay, Jaguar did a rebrand, and that's yeah. their new logo. How do you feel about it? Well, you know, there there are companies that do smart things and companies that do stupid things. You know, Coke had Coke Original, and then they did Coke something else, and Coke something else didn't quite make it. Um, you know, the Jaguar has had the leapers and the growlers. Those are the hood emblems. That's a that's a leaper. Um, they've had those well for like forever, and. Yeah, I get it. You know, it's it's 2024, ladies and gentlemen. Let's modernize the brand. Um, but that's horrible. I I I I I dare say um I'm not a fan. Yeah, I'm not a fan either. Interesting to see what Jaguar is doing over there. I guess they're trying to be more hip and cool and well, cool. well, what what they are trying to do is to be ultra luxury. And I guess when they put it in the chat. GPT or whatever it is, and they said, "Hey, give us some ultra luxury looking fonts." This is what that AI came up with, and if that doesn't look ultra luxury, damn it, I don't know what does. There is a company. This is yeah. they haven't paid us. Okay, I just I came across them called Riz Lending, Dad, and they do twenty year financing for exotic and collector cars. Two really got to be kidding me here. One, a company called Riz Lending. Like I just can't get over that name, Riz Lending. And if I well, that's that's, here, that's for people that are trying to develop their personal charisma. They're Riz. I mean, look at this. Look at this stock photo they have. The Riz. Okay, yeah. that's the first. Really, gotta be kidding me. The second yeah, is that you you might not be aware of it. That huh. that was me when I was younger. 
The second thing, get out of here. The second yeah. thing, Dad, is 20 year auto loans. Uh, well, the good news is Riz Lending won't be there when when it's time to <laughs> when it's time to get your hands on the title because you finally paid the damn thing off. Um, uh, you know, if you know, I have I this is I'm just going to say this as as a joke because I have no way of knowing. But this 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 sounds like one of the greatest Ponzi schemes in the hit. This would make Ponzi blush. OK. Um, what in your i said in my opinion before I, we're just being I extra safe this, on that one we're yeah, just that trying statement. to be funny but i mean come on who's <laughs> financing a car for 20 years and who expects the financing company to still be there you know it's like i don't know 15 years from now you're gonna find out that they don't exist anymore but everything you paid them well i don't know the Maldives look nice. I, well, you know, where can you go where there's no extradition? Wherever that is, that's where Riz Capital will be. In my opinion, I'm just get, you know, I'm just making fun. I just, I have no way of knowing. Okay. Again, this is all explicitly in my dad's opinion. Do not yeah. represent or warrant the feelings of Auto Advocate Inc., a Delaware C Corporation. <laughs> we are just dot and I's crossing T's today, baby. Anyway, I thought that was hilarious. Just, when just I seems found like the, one of the greatest scams in the history of scams, um, in my opinion. Um, and, <laughs> you know, it, it's like, but I'm sure I'm wrong. Uh <laughs> 